to build or not to build? That is the question. or buying, as it relates to your gaming PC, used to be a matter of personal preference. Not long ago, you would weigh things like, do I want to pick out all my own parts and set aside a weekend to assemble the computer and maybe save a few bucks? Or do I want something that just works right out of the box so I can get down to business with my favorite games? And also, if I'm buying pre-built, do I care that it ships with inexpensive bulk order components and that some of those components could be proprietary or their connectors so that it doesn't lend well to easy upgrades down the line? Some of that is still true today, but not when you buy a gaming PC from a company like MSI. Take these fine specimens, for instance. If you were looking to build a PC for max performance, it would look like these. The Infinite RS 13 series, which is designed for extreme power users looking for the most top-of-the-line performance available right now, and the Aegis RS 13 series, a high-end system fine-tuned for gamers that want to take it to the next level. Let's examine them from the inside out, starting with the motherboard. MSI makes some of the highest quality MOBOs on the market, and you're getting their latest Pro Z790A Wi-Fi in the infinite. This one comes configured with 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, expandable up to 128 gigs. You get tons of connectivity. It has the latest Wi-Fi 6E built right in, PCIe 5.0 in the Buy 16 slot. There's a total of 14 USB ports. It comes with one 2 terabyte NVMe M.2 SSD and has four M.2 slots for more drives. The Aegis comes equipped with a Z690 motherboard. Previous generation chipset, yes, but still compatible with the latest Intel CPUs, DDR5 RAM, of which it has 16 gig, and PCIe 5.0 connectivity. That said, you'll not need to upgrade any major components on either of these computers anytime soon. Infinite RS 13 series gaming PCs come with an NVIDIA RTX 4090 graphics card from MSI. This one has the liquid-cooled Suprem Liquid, and others have the silent-running gaming trio. The 4090 is, of course, the most powerfully commercially available graphics card around, and promises gamers 4K resolution at excessively fast frame rates. Over here, the Aegis comes with an NVIDIA RTX 4080 graphics card, still very powerful, built for AAA titles in 4K, with DLSS 3 helping your frame rates at max settings. For the CPU, in the infinite we have a 13th gen Intel Core i9-13900KF, a powerful 24 core processor that means business when it comes to running heavy creative applications, animation software, video editing, or live streaming. In the Aegis, an Intel Core i7-13700KF, which has 16 cores but a higher base clock frequency than the flagship 13900, which means enhanced performance in single-threaded applications like video games. The Intel CPUs in both PCs are unlocked and capable of frequencies well over 5 GHz in turbo mode. The cooling components that allow for safe overclocks are the same components that MSI designed for PC enthusiasts to use in their custom builds. Keeping both PCs frosty cool is the MSI Mag Core Liquid CPU cooler. On the Infinite, there's a 360 mm radiator plus a powerful system of 140 mm fans positioned in the Meg Prospect 700 RL case. The Aegis has a 240 mm radiator plus six 120 mm fans installed in the MPG Gungnir case. Both builds are decked out with customizable RGB lighting that you can alter with the push of a button. Of course, such spectacular builds call for an equally impressive monitor. This is the MSI MPG Artemis 273CQRQD. It falls right in the gaming sweet spot with 2K resolution. This is a marvelous 27-inch monitor with a rapid IPS display featuring Quantum Dot technology, a one millisecond moving picture response time, and a refresh rate of 165 hertz. This monitor performs beautifully when connected to the infinite, as you can see in this highly scientific experiment. Prof... 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 
prophesizer, professor science, professor, professor, professor science. Right away, the graphics look incredible. Elden Ring may be frame capped at 60 hertz, but with all the settings at maximum, it's still a taxing game for any GPU. But this is the 4090 we're talking about. The lands between are full of golden lights and glowing goodies that the third gen ray tracing handles effortlessly. Look at that water reflecting every detail, or just look at those Serio Strati and Alto Cumuli reflecting the evening sun. And with DLSS 3, much of the rendering work is done by a highly advanced AI, so you get incredible image quality without sacrificing precious frame rate. The 4090 can handle all this and a lot more while staying comfortably in the safe zone for GPU temperatures, unlike some of us. There is one more important factor in the build or buy conversation. Globally, there is an extraordinary need for semiconductors right now, for a multitude of reasons like COVID-19 related factory shutdowns, plus a shortage of raw materials just to name a couple, manufacturers simply can't keep up. Lead times for chip production can exceed a year or more, which means that the latest generation of components is hitting the market in a slow trickle instead of the steady flow consumers and retailers would like. Industry leaders and governments around the world are working hard to correct this, but for now, this mismatch between supply and demand is our reality. Therefore, my scientific reasoning contends that buying a pre-built gaming PC is the easiest and most cost-effective way for you to play with the most powerful PC components on the market. Granted, the rush you get from assembling your own computer and having it post is irreplaceable. You learn a lot of science, which I love, and I believe everyone should do it at least once as a pursuit of knowledge. There is also wisdom in understanding the macroeconomic realities of our time. That is, if you want to get the most powerful components in your system right now, buying a pre-built gaming PC is likely the easiest route for that. 